This is a video to demonstrate uh, the heart field, heart field valve parameter in delta V. Um, you can see right now on this heart communicator we're reading a uh, pressure reading of 10 millimeters H2O. Uh, that is from this transmitter here, this pressure transmitter that is set up to measure level in one of these vessels on our process trainer. Pressure transmitter, uh, the heart communicator right now is currently connected to the back of the pressure transmitter uh, so we can communicate with it and the transmitter is wired into our uh, Delta V uh, process trainer right here, our Delta V trainer. So let's show the benefit of using that heart field valve parameter. Um, what we can do, if you take note again, we're reading in our units here are in millimeters H2O. Our lower range value is zero and our upper range value is 175 millimeters H2O. So I'm going to take you over to the computer here. So in delta V right now, uh, this AI block right here is used for scaling. Um, so we're going to go offline, click on the AI block, I've selected it, and I've got all these check boxes, all the filters checked on and I scroll down to our outscale. Right now our outscale is set up for 0 to 100 percent. So the outscale of the AI block is set for 0 to 100 percent. We are using an L type of indirect so we're doing a range conversion in the block, scaling. If we scroll down go to our XD scale so this here is the scale uh, for the transmitter. So if you double click here, you can see there's our 0 to 175 millimeters H2O. So what I can do now, I can select this and change it to, we're going to change this to inches H2O. And let's change our, let's rearrange this to five to 30 inches. I'm going to click OK. And now we're going to download this to our control system. Close this. Go online, make sure there's a reading here. So now we're just going to run over to the heart communicator here see if the values changed on the transmitter. So there, now you can see the units are in H2O, uh, inches of water column, and our new range values of 5 to 30 inches. So the benefit of this is you don't have to have a technician going to all your devices connected to the Delta V control system to rearrange them or change units. You can do it all right from the control system or from one, from one workstation. So the question is, how do we set up this heart field valve parameter? Um, so I'm going to back up a little bit, minimize Control Studio, and have a look here. We've got here on channel zero, or sorry, channel one of card one. This is our analog input card. This is channel one. I'm going to right click, go to properties, and you got to ensure that you have your channel type set up as heart analog input channel. Otherwise the heart field valve parameter will not be available. Of course this channel needs to be enabled. So that's the first step. And then in Control Studio when you're working with your AI uh, block here, your analog input block, um, you need to ensure when you're linking it to the device that we on channel 1 that we just set up, uh, we named it LT100. Uh, we double click on this, the ION parameter, and you can see right here, this is where you select heart field valve. So if you do not have a heart enabled device, you will only be able to set uh, select field valve percent. That'll just bring in, that'll convert the 4 to 20 milliamp value to a 0 to 100 percent value. By selecting heart field valve or any of these heart parameters, we can now write values out to the device. Um, so that is how you set it up and configure it and then when you're working with the heart field 
val parameter. Um, if you're doing indirect scaling like we just did in our demo, the XD scale will be written to the device. Uh, whereas if you are doing direct, where you're just pushing the data right through, where you can select direct right here, if you're doing direct, then the out scale, the out scale would be written to the transmitter. So our out scale parameter right here. Now we'll try switching the units back from the heart communicator and see if they update on the Delta V control system. So I'll just have to go back to home here, configure, manual setup, process variables. Let's change the units now back to millimeters H2O enter send okay so it looks like it's updated here in the heart communicator let's just go make to our main overview there, back to millimeters H2O. We never, oh, it automatically rearranged for us. Updated the values. Okay, let's look on our Delta V control system to see if the update was made. If you come over here now, we're online, and you can see right here that our XD scale has been converted to millimeters H2O. And it was reading in inches H2O before 5 to 30. And the corresponding values in millimeters H2O have been updated.